Discus are found in lakes and flooded forests of the lowland Amazon River basin and some of its tributaries. Discus prefer quiet water and are rarely found in areas where there is strong current or wave action. Discus prefer warm, soft, acidic water. pH should be between 6 and 7. Temperature should be kept between 82 degrees and 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Discus require pristine water quality, and weekly water changes of 10% to 25%. Discus grow to be quite large and require an aquarium of 75 gallons or larger when full grown. Water movement should be gentle, and driftwood that is arranged vertically to simulate down branches and trees can be added. Substrate should be sand or fine to medium grade, smooth surface gravel as discus like to forage along the bottom for food. Discus are generally calm, peaceful fish, but as cichlids, they can be aggressive toward one another, especially when attempting to pair off and spawn. They can have a lifespan of about 10 years. Some suitable aquarium mates include Guramus cardinal tetras, Neons, Emperor and Ruminos tetras. All of these fish tolerate the high temperatures and low pH hardness required by discus. In nature, discus eat a considerable amount of plant material worms and small crustaceans, tropical flakes, spirulina flakes, shrimp pellets, frozen and live foods which can induce spawning in discus. Captive bred discus will pair up and spawn relatively easily. Male and female discus fish can be differentiated mostly by their size. Males are larger and bright in color with pointed dorsal fin and thick mouth and the females are smaller with less dominant color and a rounded up dorsal fin. After spawning young, inexperienced parents may eat their eggs the first few times, particularly if other fish are present. It is advised to use a spawning cone, which provides the ideal place for them to lay their eggs, and then you can place a tube of wire over the eggs to stop them from being eaten. Some breeders then separate the female as she is more likely to cannibalize her fry, and the male will rear the fry on his own. The fry hatch after three days, and in another three days they will be independent swimmers. After hatching, the young feed on heavy body mucus secreted by the parents for a few days until they begin to free swim. Parents will transfer the young back and forth several times a day. When the fry start swimming of their own, it can be kept in the tank without the parents.